Hello, my name is Will Carrara and I am the lead backend developer for the OpenET API. In our previous video, I showed you how to use the raster time series multipolygon endpoint, which generated a time to live link and used a shapefile as the input to parse the geometries. In this uh, example today, I'll be going over the export multipolygon endpoint. This one works better for larger type requests. Now, OpenET will automatically create a Google storage bucket for you, which will exist for seven days. Once you query this storage endpoint to retrieve your files that have been exported, they will be moved to a public bucket that, you'll have a, that will have a 24 hour life cycle. So what this looks like in practice is I can go ahead and look at the account storage endpoint. If I query this, I'll be able to see all the different files that I've exported and then some basic information. But in this case, I haven't exported any, so I'm just getting an empty JSON file back. Now, if I scroll down to the time series, or sorry, the raster export multipolygon, I can see here that the parameters are gonna be very similar. So I'll have my shape file uploaded as an Earth Engine asset, the attributes I wanna include, the date range that I wanna retrieve, and then your other standard uh, parameter endpoint, part, parts of that endpoint. Now, if I execute this query, I'm going to see a JSON file return that's going to include a tracking ID, whether or not it was encrypted, the queue placement, and then some unique hash that's going to be end, uh, appended to the end of the file name. So to understand where this is going, uh, I can use the tracking ID and the export track endpoint. So I can plug that ID here and I'll get some real time information of where this is. So I can see that it's going to be running. So there's four possible states. Pending, meaning it hasn't been submitted. Running, meaning it's currently uh, being run. Uh, succeeded, meaning that the uh, endpoint is uh, successfully executed. And then failed, meaning that it did not work for some reason. Now, if I run this again, I will probably see that it is succeeded. And then we can go ahead and retrieve it. Perfect. Now, go ahead and uh, scrolling up a bit. If I go to the storage endpoint and I execute this again, I'll be able to see the file retrieval link that's gonna be available for me to use. So I can see that this is a very small file. And again, I'll get that same CSV format that I got for our previous endpoint, which included the time, the attributes I included, the, in this case, ET is the variable I extracted, both the acreage and acre feet uh, calculated as well. And then there we go, my file is right there. This has been the raster export multi-polygon endpoint. And I'll see you for the next one.